one crypto I'll be throwing a bunch of money at, or at least a fair stack at next bull run, ICP. Let's talk about it. 786 Assassins. What's up, everybody? Good to see you back. Love having you. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Keith, regular Keith, Professor Keith, normal Keith. I can't stand Keith. I wish Keith would stop. I don't mind. It's all good. Nonetheless, here we are. And I want to talk to you a little bit about Internet Computer Systems. ICP is the crypto. I think there's a bunch of gains here to be had. Let's go check it out. Before we get into that, if you would be cool enough to jump over and check out Spartan Bitcoin Mining, the sponsor for this video, super good people over there. We've spent a lot of time talking about it, but they have really cool stuff over here. It's kind of a passive income play for all you who are love passive income, but always get sucked into a scam. Well, Spartan Bitcoin Mining does none of that. Real mining rigs. This is SEC filed. You can check out their form C. All the information is there. Link is in the description for me. It's invest in sparkbitcoinmining.com forward slash Keith Lay. Now let's get to the ICP chart. All right, cool reasons why I'm going to throw some money at this one. Number one, all time high here, 700 bucks. This launched right near the top of the bull market. Terrible time to launch things in my opinion. Nobody really cares about my opinion, but nonetheless, $700 all time price. All time high price here. Man, all time low is currently right now $3.2. $3.28. For you guys over there in Canada, that's like $27 million. Just kidding. So if we do some basic TA here, uh, switch it up to the weekly for a moment and just do some quick support resistance lines. Yep. Yeah. Uh, we see that we have some resistance right up here that we have not run into just yet i'll mark that in red make it a solid line for you we'll keep going down a little bit more we have some more resistance right through here all this stuff's kind of in the way you can call this resistance as well as you see it's kind of symmetrical on the way up which is cool because we can just pull a fibonacci retracement on this and we can see some potential gains on the way up before you ask, yes, I know what the market cap is. I understand that. I understand there's already a lot of money in it. Blah, blah, blah. Look, there's going to be a ton of money come flying into this space once Bitcoin starts to get higher. Bitcoin profits get taken. Ethereum profits get taken. All those big top 10 coins, profits get taken. And people don't just cash them out. They look to find something else to buy. This is common practice, all right? It's how we found so many alts last time. And you can bet on it probably going to happen again so we're going to look to buy a lot of this as we can if we can at the bottom but once bitcoin tops out you'll see that money start to trickle over into altcoins now this is going to look crazy and i know it okay i understand because when i saw this my reaction was the same so 700 dollars all-time high three dollars at the moment could it go down more yes it could so I'm not going to buy just yet. I'm probably going to wait a day or a week or a week and a half or two weeks or three weeks. Not exactly sure, but I'm not buying today. I want to make sure this thing turns the corner first because there could be more down. We know how alts like to bleed when Bitcoin and Ethereum come down. So if we look at this from a strictly TA perspective, which is what I do, you guys know that. I don't care about all the, de the details. Well, they'll work themselves out. I've got this Fibonacci set pulled from the top. To the bottom now i didn't snug it up next to the line here for a reason because this is about the end of the bull market because we know this bitcoin cycles and cryptocurrency cycles tend to last about two years or so so we hit the bottom in 2024 here we got two years of up roughly okay it's the way it's going to be we're not quite into 2024 just yet we know we're probably going to get around two years total of up We've already burned through about eight or nine months of that. So there's a good possibility this thing ends off around November 25 or December of 2025, somewhere in that period. All right. That's why I've got the Fibonacci set pulled like I've got it. Important levels are highlighted in red and not white. As you see, the 50 Fib level and the 786-886 level, that's Sniper's Alley. That's how we get our name. Those are the key levels for me here. If I pull where those same resistance resistance lines were a moment ago where I showed you, all right? Which were uh, right in here where the 618 fib is. 
uh, right about in here where the 50 fib is and right about where the 382 fib is. All of those are good, solid, potential lines of interest for when we start going back up. If I pull from where we're at today, which is September 5th, 2023, and I move up to just that 50 Fibonacci line, that's about a 13x or 1300%. That's just to the 50 Fib. Most will likely make it to the 50 Fib. Okay? I'm here for it, all right? I, I, I don't know what else to tell you except this stuff is likely to happen, all right? Even if that doesn't happen and we only go to the 382 fib, which is highly likely, that's a solid six and a half to seven X just from where we are today. All right. Could we go past that? Absolutely. And you're going to ask me, well, how do we know we can go past that? Well, lots of data from the past has shown us that a lot of these coins went up to the golden pocket and the sniper's alley. So I'm going to pull this just a golden pocket here and i want you to see how many gains there are available on this chart kind of reordered those so they're a little bit straighter now and not so backwards <laughs> um so i'm gonna pull this from where we are now to the golden pocket that's 27 x that's 27 times whatever you put in it 2700 percent so hypothetically speaking if you put a thousand dollars into this and this went up to roughly $89 or $90 from $3 down from $700. That would lend you about $27,000 from $1,000 to $27,000. That's not too bad. Now, let's get silly here. What if this thing goes all the way to Sniper's Alley? Not saying this is going to happen. Please understand this is not financial advice. This is me charting and showing you what I'm going to do. Please do your own thing on your own time. Don't let me spend your money for you. It's your money, not mine. From where we are now up to 786. Oh, that's about a 60x, 80x just to get from $3 to up here near 285 to 300. All right. Oh my God, that's insane. So play it short and say we don't exactly make it there. We make it somewhere in between the Golden Pocket and Sniper's Alley. That's somewhere around 40X. That's why I put what I put in the thumbnail. We could make more percentage than that. It's fully possible. Now that I've shown you what is possible in this chart, and by the way, I didn't even show you the Fibonacci extensions on the top side which could happen. I just don't think they will. Let's show you what we'll be looking for here to find a buy. All right, you guys know me. It's very simple. The first thing I want to see is this trend line jump to give me some kind of confirmation. All right. That hasn't happened yet. It's not even close. In fact, this thing continues making lower lows and lower highs. And then lower lows and lower highs. And there's a possibility it goes even lower. Boy, now that would absolutely suck for this thing to go even farther down below $3. Just want you to understand it's a possibility. We know September in a bear market, usually not too great. All right, I've got some basic buy sell indicators on the screen here. 821 EMA is the green and the purple line. 50 fib, uh, 50. Fib, not the 50 fib, the 50 moving average yellow line that you see there, not the trend line, but this yellow line here. Any one of these three getting broken and a hold, two candles over, okay, two closes over, two days over, will be a great sign. Obviously, we don't have that yet, all right? Still no guarantee here that we're going north. Never really is, but I would like to, I would like to at least see some kind of sign. We've got some kind of momentum starting us back in the right direction here. So far, it's a big nothing burger. If you want to play it super safe, you can wait for a cross of the 200 moving average, which is way up top here. I've said this before. There is no bull market without a cross above the 200-day moving average, and you don't got that yet. It's just simple as that. It's not even in the ballpark of the 200 moving average. It's a solid what? How much? 
45% from the 200 moving average. It's going to be forever and the day before it gets there. This is why I say Bitcoin and Ethereum profits will probably go into this as well. Because, hey, right now, there's nothing to scream and write home about. This thing's got forever just to confirm that it needs to go. Real quick, guys, if you haven't done so, all this info that you're seeing right now is over in our Discord first. $10 a month is all it costs. That's just about the same price as a venti latte over at your favorite coffee place right here's the link it's also in the description of the video everything i talk about here goes on there first my personal portfolio when i buy when i sell what i'm looking at all the big brains that we could possibly get are in one place custom indicators we have an assassin watch list indicator which tells us which coins look good and which ones look bad tons of very smart people over there check it out 10 bucks a month that's almost nothing link in the description of the video a couple more quick things here Bollinger Bands starting to squeeze together here, which is usually a sign of income and volatility one way or another. So it's got that going for it. Not necessarily bullish or bearish, just that there's some volatility coming. Here's the Ichimoku cloud. Again, zero help here. You don't have even one green check mark. You have a red cloud on the end. That's no bueno. You want it green. You have conversion line underneath the baseline. That's no bueno. You want that the other way. You want blue over top of red. That's a red X. Price is well under the cloud. Well, that's a red X too. And the lag line, well, again, no help there. This is also a bit spooky. This thing kind of fell under resistance here and is almost back testing the bottom of it, which is bearish, very bearish. There could be more red here. And if that's the case, we're going to get stupid good prices on this. And that does change our levels on what we could get on the top side. We'll reanalyze this when we get to it. Again, I don't even have a buy signal yet. Uh, trying to scrape the absolute bottom. You can take a shot if you'd like. Uh, many people are what they're going to do is going to put a little bit in now and maybe a little bit every week until we actually start to come back up. You know, and I think everyone does realize that when the bull market comes, all tides, um, all, all ships will rise with the tide. Sorry. Uh, and then after that, you're going to have your money back plus some. Uh, I have limited funds. I'm not putting any more cash in to this bull market. It's all gains that I made from last time. So I need to be careful with my money and be a little bit more accurate with what I'm doing. So as soon as I get a box in, I'm happy to tell everybody. Obviously, it'll be over in the Discord first. But I like a good shot here at, uh, at some big gains with ICP. So look, there are tons of other coins that I'm going to be buying as well. This one just really intrigues me a lot. That's why I brought it up. Thank you guys for watching. I'll be doing more of these videos also. Don't forget, I have a whole series, which I'll link right here, that I went through all kinds of different coins, potential gains I could have. That was before all the move up happened over the summer. And a lot of those coins are right back in the same price when I made those videos. Again, I'll put it right here so you can see them. Thank you guys for watching. I'll be back again Thursday live. See you guys then 11 p.m. Please do the best to make the best of your todays the worst of your tomorrows that's jay-z lastly like the notorious big said you could have been anywhere in the world you chose to be here with me that humbles the hell out of me and i appreciate it thank you all for watching see you on the next one y'all guys be good peace kind of reordered those so they're a little bit straighter now and not so backwards <laughs> um so i'm gonna pull this from where we are now to the golden pocket that's 27 x that's 27 times whatever you put in it 2700 percent so hypothetically speaking if you put a thousand dollars into this and this went up to roughly 89 or 90 dollars from $3 down from $700, that would lend you about $27,000 from 1,000 to 27,000. That's not too bad.